Hey everyone, Thunderbolt here, and welcome to my second part of Let's Try Space Engineers, where today we will be looking at the survival part of Space Engineers. So on Monday's video, we looked at the creative aspect of Space Engineers, and I did probably didn't do a very good job at explaining the whole creative part, but like I said, I want to do future videos on this game where I will further show off the creative, the actual creative part of the game. Um, but today we're going to be taking a look at survival. So we're going to go back into here and we're going to name this world LT Space Engineers Survival. It's going to be survival mode. And now this is where I can explain a lot of the different options for the game. So we have inventory size here. Realistic. This will be realistic inventory. You also have times three. So it'll make your inventory three times larger and times ten, which will make your inventory ten times larger. I'm going to select that one. Assembler. Efficiency. Realistic. We have times three. So it uses the assembler would use three less, um, three times less materials and is three times faster. And we have times 10 and in refinery we have realistic and we have the refinery is three times faster and refinery is 10 times faster just for purposes of this let's play video let's try video i'm going to be doing times 10 for all of this it's going to be an offline world Actually, yeah offline um max objects once again i'm going to bump up to the max um what this is right here, as you can see, it is the maximum number of small objects floating in space. So ore, ingots, components, and it gives you a little warning that values higher than 64 can significantly affect performance. Um, I don't have to worry about this usually because of my computer. And I'm also going to do just a, a normal, a large world here. Normal world is four large asteroids and 20 small ones. Large is seven large asteroids, 35 small ones. And extreme is 16 large asteroids and 80 small ones. And extreme you can only do if you have a 64-bit computer, which I do. So auto healing, I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn off auto save, leave thruster damage on, weapons enabled. It really doesn't matter if I'm playing by myself. And show player names, sure, why not? I'm going to go ahead and start, um, uh, geez, what will make it easier? I think easy start number one here is what's going to make it the easiest. This is kind of for demonstration purposes, because that's what we want this to be. Go ahead, let the world load up here, then we're going to get in and go ahead and get right at playing. So I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday morning so far. <sighs> and I hope you guys enjoyed Monday's video with the creative mode. All right, so here we go, we're spawned in. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff. First thing I'm gonna do, so I hit G to bring up my toolbar configuration here. I'm going to bring my tools down. So my welder, my grinder, and my hand drill. These are the three main tools of survival mode here. I'm going to make sure I hit zero to empty out my hand. So we got two little ships over there. So they're going to come in handy. We've got a mining ship and a weapon ship. We also got the platform here that we can lock stuff into place on. I'm not going to worry about this right now. Um, we can just go ahead and get rid of that. Boom. So we used my grinder there to kind of get rid of that. And what it did is it put a steel plate, which is what that small block was made out of. Put that in my inventory for me. So that's kind of cool. What this is right here is a building platform for ships. So if you get into this right here, you can use like P to um, you can turn off the whole station by using the, the reactor button here. But what this is doing is it allows us to... Um, build stuff on these upside down landing gears here and it can use it as like a steady platform to build things which doesn't matter as much anymore because of the um the locking landing gear but hey you know whatever it helps all right so this start is actually really cool because we have a nice mining ship right here you can see we have it's a it's a really well designed mining ship it's big um it's got cargo containers on it these guys right here 
and it's got the drills here that you can access of course the drills hold quite a bit it's got two drills on the front of it which is cool and we have this weapon ship here that we don't need so we can probably break this down we'll bring it into port later break it down for now what i'm gonna do we also have this huge red ship over here which honestly like we really don't need it i mean i'm gonna keep it for now just because but it's a ship that's not really needed we could definitely break this down and use its components for other things for now i'm gonna go ahead get over here we're gonna jump in the mining ship to get this survival mode going so let's power this guy up we're gonna have to go find some uranium see if there's any on our asteroid here that we're by right now um, let's see there's iron magnesium what we're probably going to want to do is go to one of these other asteroids that's kind of nearby i kind of look around i mean this this asteroid should have some just don't see any right now it's got nickel in it somewhere We might have to get inside of it. Oh, you know what the problem is? It doesn't have an ore detector on it. I think that's part of the problem. Oh, here's uranium. There is some on here. We want uranium first so we can start building. Um, where was the uranium? Here it is. It's in here somewhere. So we're going to start drilling. Oh, we have to bring up G. Bring the drills down here. All right. And you hold down the mouse button, you'll basically drill right into the side of this guy. We're just going to drill this way until we hit the uranium. And you see the ship is very steady while it's drilling. That's because of the gyroscopes on it. So the gyroscopes are awesome. They make it so... Um, Gyroscopes make it so you don't have to worry about, um, what, what are the words I'm looking for? The gyroscopes, uh, they, they hold the ship in place. Like, they make it very sturdy. It's very nice to, um, it just makes it nice. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get out here all right have we hit the uranium yet no we have not okay I'm trying to figure out why there's so many rocks floating around like that doesn't usually happen with this ship because it's supposed to all be collected up i thought there was uranium here now it's saying it's up there we need to find a way into this asteroid. There has to be like a hole that goes into it somewhere. So I'm wasting my time drilling into that right now. There's iron there. I don't think there's any way into this asteroid from the looks of it. see any way into it so we're just gonna kind of go over here find uranium I guess we're just gonna drill this way I'm gonna try this again
think we've hit the uranium yet. No, because uranium is black. Let's get out real quick. We're going to kind of check um, how much we've mined so far. So let's get here. Going to hit K to bring this up. So you can see we've mined 13.42 stone, 27.6 uranium. Oh, we actually have some uranium. And 2.2 iron. 2.2 thousand iron, that is. We got cargo containers here. So we can, like, take this if we wanted move it over to our inventory and then we can move it into these cargo containers which are already full wow okay <laughs> so the cargo containers do absolutely nothing i mean these hold 13,500k each so you don't usually have to worry about them Oh wait, there's, yeah, the uranium's here on the roof. So we did hit uranium, okay. I'm gonna collect some of these floating rocks. Let's see what the right drill got over here. And it got 4.12K in stone, 206 uranium and 1.69 iron. So pretty good. All right, let's get back in here. Let's kind of try to angle this guy up. This is the stuff we want right here. See if I can get this kind of turned around so we can start digging into the side over here a little bit. Oh, oh that just went the wrong way. That's not really the way I wanted to go. <laughs> it's going to be okay. That would be to serve as a basic principle of kind of what we're doing here. I'm trying to figure out still why there's so many stones coming out of the drills. That doesn't usually happen. But maybe that's like a new feature or something like that. Huh? Not really sure. But anyways, we're going to get this guy. I don't want to land it on the platform because of the thruster damage. So I'm going to kind of land it over here, away from the platform a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off, shut this guy down. Not KT. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our resources out of the drills. Start with the right one first, see what our final haul was. 7.46k stone, got 1.74k iron, 206 uranium, so not very much of what I was actually looking for. The left one has a lot more iron in it, um, not hard, hardly any uranium at all. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, well, let's go put what we have here in the refinery now. Oh, what the heck? There's like a whole bunch of gold and stuff just sitting over here. Wow, they really give you everything you need at the start on this one, don't they? Alright, let's make sure the refinery is on, which it is. The inventory, we're going to put all the iron in and the uranium. Jeez, man, this is kind of cool. Look at it, it actually gives you like uranium. A chunky uranium here to start with. 
pick up the gold ingots. And what are these? Bulletproof glass. Sweet. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna head throw that in the uranium or in the here. The assembler. Actually, this stuff can go in the cargo container that's right here. So it's nice on this start that, oh my god, it gives you everything you need. <laughs> I had no idea that this stuff was here. It actually literally gives you everything you need to start with. That's actually kind of cool. I, I honestly had no idea that this was like that. Alright, well, is there, how much did it give you in the reactor? See, it only gives you 0.4 in the reactor. So, not everything you need. I wonder if there's anything in the ship. So go check that out in a second, actually. So the refinery. So over here, it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna start processing all of that, and then that will slowly go down in there. Let's get the other stuff out of here now. Open this up. Oh, I already did that side. I'm losing my mind right now. All right, uranium. Let's grab some stone. Inventory is full again. Go over to the refinery. Got some more uranium. Gonna put all that stone in there. Just because, why not? All right. Let's grab the rest of the stone out and the iron. Let's make sure that gets into the refinery as well. I want the uranium to get finished first, just because. I'm gonna grab that. Make sure it gets into the reactor here. I'm gonna go grab the uranium out of this guy, because it doesn't need it. Here we go. Here's a reactor. Reactor. See, it's got 0.5 in it. There's probably one here on the other side too. Yep. There we go. So this ship has, oh, it also has a large reactor on it. Must be one on the back. On the bottom. Oh, look at that. It has a large reactor on it also. That's cool. So let's get over here. I'm gonna grab this guy. We're gonna get all this uranium into our station just to make sure that it has enough power. So how much power does the station have right now? It has four hours of power with its current power output. So that's good. Our assembler. Refinery is still breaking down the uranium here. Let's get all of this. I grabbed the wrong thing. Well, I'm being a little derpy right now. Alright, I wanted the uranium out of there. Let's make sure that gets in here as well. Alright, sweet. Alright, so this is what survival is all about. I'm going to show you now. So let's grab... Let's say we want to add onto our base here a little bit. So I want to copy the color scheme we have here. Or let's say we want to make this part into a hanger over here. So <clears throat> we're going to make this hanger with, um, let's see, how about these nice green walls? See, we need steel plates to build light armor block. So we're going to go over here, I'm going to grab some steel plates. Ow. You now take damage when you're falling as well. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab our steel plates. Let's see, that needs to be broken down. That can go in the assembler, that can go in the assembler, that can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. Magnesium and gravel. Oh look, we got some platinum ore. And some more uranium. Is that all the, the ores in here and stuff now? Yeah. So, 
This stuff, this actually came with a lot more than I thought it did. I had no idea that it actually had all of this stuff already here ready for you. Assembler, let's make sure the gravel's all in there. Gonna make sure. Um, magnesium powder, cobalt. Gonna make sure all the iron's in here. Oh, got some more iron ore. Nickel, got silver, got silicon wafers. I don't need the bulletproof glass. I don't know why I keep grabbing that. Let's make sure the iron gets in there. All right, that'll be good. All right, so like I said, let's say we want to, um, oh God, I need to stop doing that. Let's say we want to build a um, hanger over here. So all you have to do is grab your block and left click to place it down. So we're gonna go along the back here and start to build a hanger. And then once you have your blocks placed, you need to actually build them. So you see down there in the bottom right, the light armor block requires one of 20 steel plates and then zero of five steel plates. So it has one in it. It takes one steel plate out of our inventory every time we place down a block. To build this block now, we take out our blowtorch and just left click. Keep left click held down and it will construct the block. And what that red line symbolizes is that's the place you need to get it built to to actually make the block usable. So to be usable, it needs to be at basically 80%, which is a 20 out of 20. And now we have five of five left. So, and now it's 100% usable. So let's go through and build these blocks real quick. I don't think I'm gonna have enough steel plates to actually build them all yet. These light armor blocks are pretty easy to build. They don't take very long at all. I'll show you in comparison just what a heavy armor block takes, which is what you now have to build landing pads out of. Um, they require 150 steel plates compared to 25 for a light armor block. So it's pretty ridiculous. Okay, something else you might notice, bottom right hover camera, See how this is grayed out numbers, which means there's no parts inside of the, like the queue basically. See these ones are all blue, it says 20 of 25 out of 5. What it did is as soon as I clicked on it to start building, it took the steel plates it needed all out of my inventory, and it put them into kind of like an inventory of this block. So if I break this down using the grinder here, I'll get all that back, because it's inside of the block right now. And all I have to do is basically keep it held down to put it together now. This one, on the other hand, you'll see here. All right, so it's 20. It's got all 25 it needs now. Now let's look at the next one and see what happens. See how it went to three or 20 and now it turned red because I don't have enough. And it gives me a message, you need steel plate times 17 to build light armor blocks. So it means we need 17 more steel plates to finish the first part. And then we need five, of course, to finish the second part. And I completely just ran off the platform. Go me. Right, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Another way to heal is to sit inside of a cockpit. So if you have a cockpit nearby, you can go sit in it to heal up as well. So our reactor's doing good. Uh, assembler here. Let's grab out all the uranium. Make sure it all makes its way into here. All right, so we need some steel plates. So we go into our assembler to do that production. We need steel plates. So you can click to do one. You can do shift click to do 100. And if you control click, that's 10. So let's just make, let's make 50 of them. So it needs 110 iron ingots and we have 3,083.21 available. So we got plenty of iron. The assembler is on. So as soon as we hit escape, it will start to work. <laughs> That noise in the background is it working. So you can see here we have 22 steel plates now. Now we're at 34. It works really quick, of course, because I have it on times 10. And boom, just like that, it's already done. 
And so we got 50 steel plates. So we can finish a couple more of these guys now. So we can do this one. It'll be enough to finish two steel plates, basically. All right. It'll be enough to finish two armor blocks. Sorry, I don't mean to keep saying steel plates. It's enough steel plates to finish a couple iron blocks. So you can see kind of now here from the outside. So our hangar is starting to be built. And this hangar will be for our small ships, basically. Not that I'm going to finish the hangar in this episode, but you guys kind of get the point. We'd build a big building here. You could park these guys inside of it so they're more protected from the elements because they're big ships. It's going to be really hard to make a hangar big enough for this giant ship over here. Speaking of this giant ship, I'm going to kind of go explore around inside of it now and see if it's got any goodies hanging out inside of it as well. I'm sure it has some uranium here because it's got three of these large reactors in it. So look at that. One and a half in this one. There is another one right here in the center, which is where the cockpit is. It's got one and a half in there. There's one more over here on this side. Oh geez, I lost gravity. The gravity from the platform is gone. And boom. All right, so I've taken all the uranium out of this ship now. Oh crap, I'm floating away. There we go. All right, so the gravity from the platform is holding me here. I don't think there's any more to this ship, actually. I mean, is there more levels, or is this kind of all look for looks up here? I think the rest of this is really just for looks. I guess there's nothing hiding inside the ship. It's all kind of hiding here in this little platform, the storage container here. But what, I'm gonna take all that uranium that was snagged out of there and I'm gonna stick it into my station here. One of the cool new features of survival mode is um, these. They're not an ore detector, solar panel. Seriously. All right, so five. We gotta get some solar panels here. You see these things are massive. Um, where is the sun? Because that's kind of where we want this guy pointing. So we're gonna put these here. I'm gonna get this turned on its side. Seriously? There we go. That's what I was looking for. So I want to build this guy right here. See, you need construction component. So we're gonna go grab a construction component. And what solar panels do, it's an alternative to, um, did it give me any solar components to start with? See, I don't think they updated it since they put solar panels in. No, so we don't have any solar components. It's got 25 uranium ingots? Holy Jesus, man. We got power to last forever inside of this thing. I'm just gonna stick it all here. <laughs> Who cares? We got power to last forever. We don't need solar panels. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Solar panel. I'm gonna place a couple down here. Just to kind of see how much power these things generate. That was the wrong spot. So... We're gonna kind of go over here to note how much power we are currently generating. We are generating five 
mw of power 5.00 right now we're using 0 0.09 of our power we have power for 320 days so if i left this game running for 320 consecutive days this space would stay powered if we just left it this way like i would literally have to leave the game running for 320 days all right so we're going to see how much these actually output so let's start building And solar panels take quite a bit of time to make. To build, I should say. So we're going to need metal grids, large steel tubes, computers, and solar cells on top of the steel plates that we already have. So I think I grabbed all the, con yeah, I grabbed all the construction components. Alright, so now we need metal grids and large steel tubes. So we got metal grids and we have large steel tubes. Let's run back over, start building this thing again. So those numbers will turn blue. Might as well grab the computers as well. And let's look into what it takes to make solar cells. So we grab computers. Now we go to our assembler. What does it take for us to make solar cells? Solar cells, we need platinum ingots, silicon wafers, and gold ingots. So we need not that many of them. You need 64 to make one. So this is what we need to make one solar panel. We got enough gold, but we don't have enough silicon. We don't have enough platinum. So first to like finish this up, we actually have to go find more platinum and more silicon. So unfortunately, I don't have everything we need to make this. And nothing else around here has solar components in it. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, but, um, you know, we'll survive. Um, so I need solar, I need platinum, and I need uranium. No, God, I can't even remember what I was talking about. We need, um... Platinum, silicon. So let's go find some silicon. Let's go find some platinum. This video is already running kind of long, so I might turn this into a two part video here. Uh, what asteroid do we want to go to? Oh, this big guy right here. fly over here we're gonna try to find some platinum and we're gonna find some silicon this isn't really big like I thought it was all right I need a big asteroid and there's this one right over here I think we'll just go to this guy he isn't even that big this has got iron in it because all asteroids have iron cores. All right, where are all the big asteroids? Holy crap, there's another ship on this level. I didn't know there was another ship on this like world. Silver, platinum, here we go. So here's platinum. Let's go ahead. We're gonna start digging through this right here. And then we're gonna all have to find us some silicon. I don't want the normal stone, I want the platinum. Oh, 
gold here at the same time, which is okay. I don't mind some extra nickel. Okay, so that's one of those grinding into the side of this house, just tearing it apart. Once you have these mining ships, it's really awesome. It's fun to kind of start with like a lone start also, and then make one of these yourself. Because I like designing my own ships, that's fun. Alright, I thought we'd get there. Well, let's see if there's any silicon. Silver, got magnesium, uranium. Nickel, iron, the platinum. Let's kind of go over here. Let's see if we see silicon anywhere. Pop up on the screen. I haven't seen any yet. Silicon is pretty hard to find. I mean, it's like the rarest resource in this game. So there's a good possibility here that we just don't have any on this asteroid. So we're probably gonna have to go check out some of these other ones. So we got another big one over here. Let's go take a peek at it. This video is starting to get a little long. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and put a little break in the video and then you guys can kind of pick up the rest of this let's try in part two. So. Thank you everybody for watching part one of my Let's Try Space Engineer Survival Mode. Stay tuned for part two, which is going to be coming out on Friday. So hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. See you later. Bye.